Well, I have practiced that tool for the last two years with patients. I have shown it to them. Okay, and that I was so enthusiastic because that anybody can understand immediately what's going on. Essentially, here is the problem. For stage three colon cancer, we were used to saying, you have already 50% chance of being cured by surgery alone. If you're getting chemotherapy, uh, you can get a 12, 15% benefit from fluoro uracil alone, that is one drug. If you get also xaliplatin, you get an extra 5%. So essentially, you move your chances of being cured from 50% to 70%. That's not true. Why that is not true? Well, essentially because within stage three, you have several categories. Uh, so you can uh, divide stage three into 16 subgroups ranging from about 15-20% uh, cure rate by surgery alone up to 85-90% with uh, surgery alone in stage three. So saying that you have 50% and if you get chemo you get 20% additional getting up to 70 is not real. That's for the average stage three. But if I have a very high risk patient, just based on the T level, and you know that T can span from T1, T2, T3, T4, and the N level, uh, N1, N2, A and B, okay, uh, just with those two parameters, you realize you can identify 16 different prognostic groups. And you can show to the patient how much chances of being cured he can have from surgery alone, from adding fluorouracil alone. So this is a sort of bar graph that is growing, overlaying, okay? And then three months of doublet chemo, K-POX, or six months of doublet chemo. And most of the patient uh, look at the chart, identify themselves, and say, why should I get chemo for a 0.3% additional when I already get 25% benefit? So th this is uh, how the tool works, essentially. And this is what we are presenting. Behind this tool, the development of the tool has been very complicated with a lot of mathematics and statistics. Um, um, what else? Uh, and essentially it's very practical and it, it has an additional feature that I think is so useful in practice. It gives a frame to the whole story of stage three. So the patient uh, uh, perceives himself as a very high risk stage three or mid risk or very low risk and may be able to, to give you the feedback we were talking before of uh, in terms of, uh, well, I already have 80% chances of being cured. I don't want to have oxaliplatin for this 2% uh, additional gain, whereas I don't want to lose the 8% chances of additional cure with fluorouracil alone. And you get a real feeling of what their priorities and preferences are.